What does it mean to be a financial minimalist? What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it's a philosophy, really. It's a lifestyle, it's a philosophy, and a prison, all wrapped in but one. It's the ability to be rich, but live like a poor person. This way, if a poor person says, the rich are evil, and you, sir, are a rich person, you can just give them a condescending smirk and say, I'm a financial minimalist, because at the end of the day, nothing's better than making poor people feel stupid. But you live like a poor person. Yes, that's right. You see, by having nothing, it leaves more room for the abundance to flow through the emptiness of my life. And if I don't stop the abundance, I let it flow, it goes right through, it doesn't stop, and at the end, I'm left with nothing. And that is the key to financial minimalism. Where is your money invested? <laughs> uh, you, sir, I'm afraid don't understand how financial minimalism works. I don't have money. I don't have any money. You see, as I started down the financial minimalist journey, I first gave away my belongings. And then the next logical step was to give the money away. So you don't live like a poor person, you're just poor. No, you don't understand. You see, the uh, abundance flows through. Uh, but, uh, sir, uh, excuse me. I told you, these guys are all idiots. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's pack it up. The abundance is flowing. No, it, it, sir, no, it, it flows, it flows. Okay, guys, sorry for the cheesy skit. Uh, it was my attempt at some humor. I'm trying to inject a little bit of humor into this serious finance channel, but I just, I watch all these finance videos and I make finance videos and I watched a minimalism video the other day. And so then financial minimalism stuff started popping up in my feed. And I just thought it was the funniest term. Like I just pictured all these people with no money bragging about their financial minimalism. So I actually had to Google the term financial minimalism to see what the actual meaning was. Surprise, surprise, it just means don't spend money on crap that you don't need. Get rid of your subscriptions, don't buy more clothes, don't buy stuff you don't want, don't use. So I guess it's just another one of these lessons that we need to hear over and over that we already know, spend less, make more, save the difference, and you can eventually retire. That's what this whole channel is about, but most people can't figure out, I think, how to make more, so they focus all their energy on how to spend less, and they just go down this I'm frugal minimalist path to try to just figure out, well, I can't save any money. I can't invest any money. So if I just keep having less, if I keep depriving myself of more and more, then eventually it'll all work out. But I got news for you. It doesn't just work out like that. You can't just save your way to retirement. I'm sort of retired when I moved here, but now I have my real estate license again. So I am selling real estate, um, but I can totally live off my real estate um, empire that I've built over the past 10 years. And it's not even that huge of an empire. I have seven properties um, that I rent out and that affords me to live anywhere on the planet that I want. And my friends, you can do the same thing. I just bought one house every year and over seven, eight years that adds up. So um, I'm glad you're on the channel. Learn more about investing. Stop trying to figure out how to get rich by being a minimalist and being frugal, because that's what we talk about here. We talk about the fire movement. We talk about retirement. This is the retirement mentality where I wanna change your mentality about retirement and how about saving and investing. It's not that hard. Everybody can do it. I did it. I started from zero. I went broke in 2008. And then in five years, I had built up a real estate portfolio that I could live off of. So um, thanks for coming by the channel. Just wanna do this quick video about financial minimalism. I just thought it was a really funny term. A little bit of humor for you guys. Um, so uh, keep watching. I'll see you in the next video. Like this one if you want me to try to um, maybe do more cheesy skits or uh, leave me a comment down below on what you thought of it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. And if you keep supporting me, I can keep making these videos for you. See you then.